So I just wanted to get this on the video <clears throat> and I uh, you know I keep talking about resilience and uh, that's kind of a theme up on YouTube not not me uh, but you know I've got the I got the water barrel right here um, so I got 50 gallons of water and like I said if you buy one of them chitidin water filters uh, you can uh, filter that water if uh, if you ever have a shortage and uh, look at this project I mean I'm I've been at this well for months um, because this was all rock and uh, I'm taking that rock out and let's just kind of go on down here and show you the progress that I've made um, so here's here's the last of it and I uh, eventually I will get done in fact I'm back out here again today you know when I'm not hiking and making uh, uh, backpacking and hiking and camping videos uh, you know I'm, I'm back here uh, trying to grow my own food now you can see I I live in a nice neighborhood, uh, but they're old people, and uh, there's no vegetables. Nobody has vegetables, and they're, in fact, they're banned by the community. You know, uh, that's that's the HOA. They don't want you growing your own damn food, um, which pisses me off. Uh, if I could live in the country, I would. But I mean, there's a lot of advantages to being in a place like this. It's pretty safe. Uh, we do have security that rolls through quite often, which is. Uh, going to be important here in the coming future um, but I just don't understand the old person attitude that uh, growing your own food is a, is a bad idea um, so but uh, we'll, we'll eventually get there I uh, and I'm gonna get some videos especially when I got some vegetables growing up in here because uh, this is gonna widen out and uh, I'll, I'll have to get some videos of that but uh, you can imagine look look at that rock right there how long do you think it takes me to take that out and move it I mean you can see right over here there's piles of rock all around my house that I've been moving by the and you know each one weighs you know 10 20 30 pounds I mean you know I I'm, I'm moving it at, at, at a you know as fast as I can and uh, we will get there all right you eat an elephant one bite at a time just like Rudy said so I wanted to get another video for you woke people out there this is what hard work and uh, working for a living eventually this will be a vegetable garden I'm I'm hoping I gotta now wait till you see I just want you to see the yard right now there's a whole yard of uh, black uh, cow manure <laughs> coming in <laughs> boy if the HOA ever looks back here I'm in I'm in deep trouble but luckily they don't watch YouTube videos here in these old communities but uh, so anyway this is this is uh, we're in the final stage man I'm gonna tell you what I I've been at this for a couple of months and um, you know when you put down rock here in Florida you got to put a barrier underneath it I mean just to show you what it looks like without the barrier because I wanted to get the final stage here as I work my way through it see that that's all rock going down what about four inches but it's all mixed in with the dirt so what happens is the rock just settles into that that sandy uh, soil and uh, I mean, you know, and then it becomes a weed factory. I've been pulling weeds up here for three years. Plus, I've been wanting to have vegetables. And uh, I don't know if I put said it in another video. I had a wonderful plan to have a nice cedar, uh, cedar raised area out here on the side. And, you know, well, here, let's just take a look. I got to show you. I mean, this is so ridiculous. Uh, these HOAs here in Florida, cause, you know, they're old people and they've been brainwashed, you know. And uh, you can see right here this little area I was gonna put a nice little raised uh, cedar garden right here behind it and uh, you know you couldn't even see it I mean look at the look at somebody coming down that street there's no way they would even know and I was gonna make it look nice I, I got turned down so but uh, and I am still looking for a piece of property to to grow a garden um, but uh, who knows what when and if that'll happen but I just kind of want to take a couple of shots as, as the project progresses. You know, the, the next phase is going to be, uh, I'm going to have to take all this soil out and put the black soil in. And, you know, you got to be super careful. I, I will tell <laughs> a quick story. So I, I did all of this, but I didn't know that my neighbor's fiber over here runs right underneath the ground here. And they only bury it down here in Florida like six inches. And uh, man, I, and I thought it was uh, just a, a root, and I cut his fiber, and he he didn't have internet for like five days. He was 
<laughs> he was pissed off. But I mean, you know, I, who knew? I mean, why would they run? If I were going to run utilities, I'd run them just behind that fence, you know. Uh, that way, you know, some happy homeowner who wants to have a few plants along the fence here, I wouldn't do what I did, you know. So, yeah, I, I, I'm to blame. I, I, I was going slow and careful, too. And I uh, just, it just, just didn't say. So this is, uh, this is kind of what we're going to have eventually. All this was, was the border. And, uh, you know, it's mainly what you got to do with the stupid bird cage is you got to protect the screen because my yard crew comes through with a weed eater and you don't want them cutting through that screen um, which is why the rock was here I understand but uh, I would much rather have vegetables you know and uh, with the rain barrel see I can control the uh, uh, a big storm uh, that's 50 gallons now it does fill up quick I'm gonna say you know so you get the overflow back here and that's what the rocks all about is for drainage but uh, I don't think it's gonna be a problem with that rain barrel there because all in I'll do and then I can use that rain barrel of course to water the vegetables so that's going to be a nice setup when I'm all said and done. Right, that's enough for now. We'll get the next video when uh, this will all be gone. And I'll uh, probably take it when they... i got to show the... <laughs> You got to show it when they drop that yard of black dirt because I bet it's going to be monstrous. I mean, a whole yard of dirt, and uh, you'll, you'll get a kick out of that. And uh, I guess that's it for now. And uh, this is the guard, yard garden project. And I, I, you know, that's what I'm telling you guys become resilient, man. You've got to grow your own damn food. You know, you've been brainwashed. You, you know, it used to be we didn't have all this grass. Scots and the corporations, you know, talked everybody into, uh, you know, putting in yards. Imagine what a vegetable garden I could have if I could just do it right along here. You know, I got a big lot. So I'm just saying, all right. So I wanted to get this on video. We've had so doggone much rain. This was like a swimming pool right in here. And uh, anyway, I can. Looks like tomorrow I'll be back at it. Maybe I'll be able to finish that up. And then uh, just wanted to get this on the video. Because it hurts my back, I'm actually sitting in that chair to sift <laughs> sift that rock on the screen. I just wanted to show you my, my what soon hopefully will be a vegetable garden. So there's all my black dirt that I'm going to either mix in or, or replace a lot of that with. Some of that's going to be, I'm going to be taking that out. And then I'll put this in and then, you know, mixing the two together. But uh, this is the this is the backyard garden project. Unfortunately, I had to kill all this grass with this dirt right here. But what choice have I got? And, uh, you know, I got to leave room for the lawnmower to come through here. Uh, eventually, I mean, of course, they can't come through now, but, you know, the grass isn't growing. And, I, you know, what, talking about resilience, you know, see, I've got this water barrel here. Yeah, that's 50 gallons of water um, that I'll be using to water the vegetables with. Um, but, you know, the other thing is that's an emergency water supply. See, I have a water filter and I can pump water right out of that barrel. Of course, if I was in Texas, it might freeze and, you know, maybe that water in there would have been frozen and I couldn't use it. But, you know, it's that was a rare, that was a very rare thing. So, anyway, this is the uh, the garden project and just wanted to to show you. So what I do is I sift it into this bucket right here and uh, and then of course I, I wash it on the screen and then I actually wash it again in the bucket and then I'm just dumping this rock because you know this rock costs a lot of money so I'm not I could just scoop it up and just haul it out of here but uh, anyway because you know this went all the way around believe it or not that's a lot of work right there that's gonna that's still left to do. And uh, see, I can just get dumping it in with all the rest of my rock. All right, so I wanted to get a good, quick video of the of the garden, the backyard garden. Like I said, you gotta grow your own food, people. So I just want to make a quick recording. We took another bite out of the elephant today. So, man, I I should have had this all along. Man, I put that chair there. <laughs> it's a lot easier to sit in that chair rather than bending over and sifting dirt in that rock. But I think uh, one more day and we'll have this completely dug out and then I'll be taking this uh, black dirt and moving it in well right here first and we'll fill all that in and then I'll have to uh, take some of this sandy soil up and get rid of it down at the dirt place down the street and uh, before you know it we may have some vegetables growing back here just don't tell the HOA. 
they don't want you to grow your own food. No, no, God forbid, we don't want to grow our own food. So I wanted to get the uh, the latest in, <laughs> in the vegetable growing project. Uh, this is that uh, whole yard of dirt that just got dumped in my backyard. Hats off to Jonathan and uh, those guys. And you can see, I did check with the dirt place up the road. They'll just take this the sandy soil, so I'll be digging that out. You know, this is all about resilience, folks. I'm going to be growing vegetables at some point. And see, you can see that I'm down to the last little yard or so of uh, rock to, to get it out. And, you know, all I do is one shovel full at a time, take it up here and sift it on this, this rack and... Uh, and then the sand comes down right there because I can't, uh, I, they won't take the uh, soil with the rock in it. And, uh, and, and I understand that. I mean, who's going to want that? And, uh, but they will take the sandy soil for, for, for fill. That's, that's kind of what, it, what it's going to be. Um, so I can't wait to someday take the video where we got some vegetables growing back here. I mean, what a huge project. I, I, I think I've been at this a couple months now. But, uh, you know, it's it'll all be worth it in the end. I mean, <laughs> you know, I even I even have to sit in the stupid chair and and pick the rock off of the, the rack because mixed in here is all kinds of, of building debris. You know, back here, in, years ago, back in 2000, when they built these houses, they, they just didn't care, man. There's, there's all kinds of debris that I'm pulling up from, from underneath here, but... You know, I got to have the soil completely uh, filtered so that I can grow vegetables. But uh, let's just get one last look. And of course, I got these stupid trees right here that just continuously dump leaves. And so I have to continuously blow blow the leaves out and, uh, and then pick the leaves out because there's all sorts of leaves underneath the rock. Um, it's, a, it's a big project and... Uh, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be worth it. I mean, check it out. Got the rain barrel there. Uh, life is good. Peace out. This is it. That's the first shovel full in the new garden. The rock is all gone. It took me, let's see, October, November, December, January, February. And we're just getting, well, it'll be March before I have vegetables growing back here. But uh, what a project. You can tell I'm tired, but I wanted to show you the sawhorses are gone. All the rock is out. What idiot puts in rock and doesn't put a barrier underneath it? That is just the stupidest thing. But And then why not have a garden back here anyway, you know? Why would you want rock here? And it wasn't, it wasn't rock, it was just a weed factory. So now I gotta start shoveling this sandy soil out and replacing it with this black dirt. And I'll be taking that down. There's a dirt place down the road where I'm gonna dump that. But uh, just, just a happy moment. I can't believe I finally got here. I, you know, you just wanna keep going at this point. It's like, man, I'm so close I can taste it, you know? All right, well, the next video I get, I, hopefully I'll have the uh, these put back and have it framed in and looking nice. And we'll maybe have, well, I'll probably get a couple more before I get seeds in the ground. But this is what perseverance can do, folks. This is what it means to grow your own food. It wasn't easy.